All right, here we are with day six. I only anticipated working on this map for about six days. Uh, maybe this will be the last one. Maybe it won't. I, I anticipate I might have to do some more tweaking. But uh, this is primarily going to be me going through a list of grievances that I wrote down after uh, the previous playthrough, combined with a list of adjustments that I wanted to make. So the first on the list of errors is, of course, this cacodemon closet, which I cannot get to open no matter what I do. Um, so that's uh, that's fine. That goes up. That looks fine. What activates it? That's W1. Door open, stay fast. Ah, uh, I see. I've also got the uh, sectors next to the doors tagged. So this one, let's have a look. That's six to one five nine. Yeah, that's it. So these ones shouldn't be marked as doors, or shouldn't be marked as attempting to open, because then the doors will get confused and they'll say, "Oh, I've I've already moved all the way up." So that's probably that one. Okay. Uh, the other one is we need to make these platforms safe. Let's take off uh, the damage two or five percent health. We need, need to make this harmful, by contrast. I'm just a bit worried about the player getting stuck in here, but I, I think it's okay. Um, we're going to make this one damage 2 or 5% health. And we're going to do the same in here. All right, next on our list of things to fix. The exit door. Very important. <laughs> Let's put some actual door actions on here. So we're going to go D1. Door open. Wait a minute. Door repeat. Uh, it doesn't really have to stay, does it? Let's, uh, let's door open, wait, close fast for the exit door. And door actions don't require a tag on them. They always affect the sector behind them. This... Uh, SR, lower rate, raise fast. Uh, doesn't have a tag on it. Okay, that's uh, that's the problem. So uh, I'd, I'd have been utterly dead if I'd done that in vanilla Doom because it would have said tag zero, applied it to all tags, the entire map is now a lift, and all hell breaks loose, appropriately. Um, Caco trap near first raise switch. Right, what am I talking about? Um... Uh, I, I I do wish that I'd written down this a bit better. Uh, the Kako Trap near first raise switch. Was that a note to put something in? Oh no, this one. Okay. This Kako Demon Trap. Um, yeah, again, I uh, just forgot to put my clever trap in. So, uh, that is a door. Or oh, it's going to look like one. We're going to... Um, I'm flipping the side desk, by the way, with F. So that the little tick points towards where the player is going to be coming from, because I think in Vanilla Doom, walk line defs only work if they cross from the front to the back. Uh, I, I couldn't guarantee it, though. W1, door, open, stay fast. We're going to use new tag. It's tag 25. And we're going to tag that one as 25. Uh, someone expressed admiration for me uh, just putting tags and switch definitions and line definitions on without even testing them and just going ahead and having that confidence. But uh, as you can see, I frequently get it wrong. Um, chain gun too low on pillar. What could that possibly mean? <laughs> All right, is there a chain gun on a pillar somewhere? Oh, Chain Gunner, maybe. Too low on pillar. Yes. This is, this is, <laughs> this is half my notes and half an archaeology session. I see what's happened. It's because, um, it's because I did this clever adjustment so it would stop there, but I didn't uh, adjust the ceiling to uh, keep him inside. Let's uh, do that. All right. Bad door track on yellow door. Yes, we know about this one. 
Uh, something went horribly wrong when I did this. I split it into the wrong sectors and everything went strange, so that's better. Um, pipe down window in east room. Oh, yes, uh, there's a pipe texture where there shouldn't be. Sorted. Next. Um, southwest exit needs tag. Oh yeah, switch to the exit we need to tag, not southwest. SW. And chain gunner low ML2X shot. Yes, okay, so I was thinking of replacing the one of the chain gunners here with uh two shotgunners instead, but I actually don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm going to give the player just a little bit of cover from them instead. Let's go twenty-four forty-eight. Do another one over here. That's just twenty four. 4 by 24 uh, make these oh no actually I'm not going to do that I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to do that instead so that uh, we can have a separate texture on them and we don't uh, have to share the texture with that wall down there oops no oh if you do that I, I only learned this very recently if you press backspace it uh, deletes your last vertex without uh, deleting the whole operation. Could have done with knowing that quite a lot earlier. Alright, we are going to make void out of those. Uh, we're going to put support textures on them. Uh, I forgot to do something I meant to do, which is to which is that. So I can just uh, paste and uh, control shift and R to reset all of these so it looks nice and regular. Uh, this, uh, that is perfect. Alright, so now we have got a tiny bit of cover. I might move this one a bit further over. But uh, we don't, we're not quite as exposed to the chain gunners as we once were. And I think that might help us a bit. It's, uh, it's hard to tell uh, exactly what's going to happen until we play it, but uh, we will see. All right, that is the list of bugs. Uh, the list of things that I want to do further is I want to I want to make this a bit more interesting, and uh, <laughs> possibly without putting a load of computer screens into it, as is my habit. Oh, it didn't. Uh, detect that that was a sector, so we're going to press M and uh, make a sector from that. This is going to be a load of pipes, if I can ever click the right things on the wall. That looks okay. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot of blank space here as well. I want to change these steps actually. Yeah, that'll do. Um, okay. I wonder if that is that too tall and repetitive. Maybe I'll put something in the middle of it. And not step, light. Oh, that's the wrong length. So adjust that just a little. Been listening to a lot of uh, Halloween's new song recently called Skyfall. Uh, it's nothing to do with James Bond. You must have just thought it was a good title. Um, and I'm just fascinated with it because uh, they've become a sort of mega Halloween by inviting uh, all their old singers back. So now they've got three singers. Uh, and it, it just works wonderfully. All right. Every group in European metal is a super group. They just uh, rotate members around every couple of years. Okay, I don't like this uh, sharp corner here. Uh, 
John Romero, if you look at his maps, he tended to round them off if that ever happened. He would do something like that. Maybe we'll even put a little decoration in here. Um, let's have some metal. Because I was just talking about it. Now that uh, light being cast there looks a bit strange, just fading out on the ceiling immediately, so I'm going to make a little bit of light there. Yeah, that looks okay. Where else looks a bit blank? There's a, there's a lot of wall here. Um, I might just liven it up by... Yeah, making making this a bit indented. Okay, what's this? Oh yeah, that's the door. Gonna need that. Yeah, and instantly you can see the room's just got a lot more interesting. We've got more of a slant here. We've got some uh, we've got some indentation. Looks good. Got a chain gunner up here. We've got uh, something like 110 monsters in here so far, which is about the level that I want to keep it. Uh, this is... I, I'm trying to make smaller maps than I used to, which used to be massive, sprawling, boring epics. Uh, and I'm, just, I'm just trying to curb myself now. Let's put another uh, monster trap down here. Because I don't want the player to escape too quickly. I could do with uh, putting something with a bit of heft to it, like a caca demon here. And uh, is this is this a door? Yes, it is. So we're going to do our old trick of having the door track down there. We're going to make that lower unpegged. We're going to pull this down, and we're going to put some pipe textures over it. I might have to adjust the width a bit just so it looks natural. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe a bit? Uh, I don't know. And I think the bricks there look fine. I was going to uh, put support 2 on there as well, but I don't think it's necessary. This is looking a bit square. Let's change that. And uh, with that change, our uh, health bottles now look a bit out of place, so I'm going to change them like that. Techno pillars are nice. They're, they're uh, a nice thing to have when you need to do some decoration quick. Let's see. Trying to think if there's a way to make this a bit uh, lower, but I don't. I don't think I want to do that. I think it, I think I've got a pretty good. I think I've got a pretty good environment already. Let's instead put the floor down here, just for some height variation. Put some step. Actually, the one that I used over there that I don't usually see. Uh, 
and we'll change the texture going around the corner here as well to make this uh, room a bit more interesting. I am being mindful as well of, whoops, don't, don't do that, clear the selection. Uh, I am being mindful as well of the uh, blank room that I've left near the start that I need to make more interesting. What can I do with this? Just another little metal area. We'll make it work. That'll do. So probably something happens in there. We come out around here. Let's put just one mod of these in. And... Hell night. These will be, actually, they need to share a tag. Uh, uh, 21, that's the one. And I'm not quite going to be as generous as I've been in the past. I'm just going to give them a stim pack there and maybe uh, some shotgun shells. Not very many. Oh, that's a good way to get the player to look somewhere as well, just to give them a bit of ammunition. Okay, so uh, my remaining problem points, I think, are here. I want something to happen here that isn't what I've got. I could even make this room a lot longer over here. I've got, I've got the room for it. Let's join some sectors. Uh, yeah, you can you get in there as well. All right. Could make this just a very cramped split room. We have to turn around and go up some stairs. We'll see how it works. So I want a three wide, yeah, when I, when I said three I meant 24, three times eight. Three wide wall, uh, no actually I don't want a wall, I just want a different sector that I can raise to a different height. And I want to bring this one down. Good, okay. So now let's make this a different floor to distinguish it. We're going to put an imp ambush here and a demon ambush here. Is that a spectre? No, it's a demon. Good. All right. I'm genuinely not sure if this is going to uh, be any good at all or not. Uh, I am just flying as I go. Okay, how wide are my stairs? 80? Probably a bit much. Make them 64. There is a tool you can uh, use to do this, by the way. I just uh, can never remember how to use it. There's a stair builder. There we go. And once again, we can we can prevent the player from having uneven stairs by splitting the staircase into two halves. That's great. Uh, this is going to be another... Uh, maybe I'll make this a bit thicker. This is going to be another place where we use a mid-texture. I'm going to tidy up some of these vertices as well. Uh, 
I was okay with the brick. Let's uh, put in my step textures. Uh, where am I going? Yeah. Now, will a demon be able to f get down these stairs? It will. Now, I, I, I'm aware that I'm uh, putting more enemies in after I said that I, I didn't want to do that. Maybe this one can be a chain gunner. So let's uh, delete some from here just to make up for it. That one can go. Uh, who else? Maybe I need two demons there. Oh, no, I like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think just one cacodeme will do. And if the player wants to go down again, maybe they get a uh, medikit for their trouble. Oh yeah, so uh, that looks missing because I haven't put the sky on. It's always a problem when you remember, don't remember to turn your sky on. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Oh yeah, the other thing I was going to do, I forgot about this. Um, I was going to raise this corridor. Let me make a break between this corridor and the next one. I don't want to move that ceiling down. I was, think I was thinking of uh, making an archway like that, but that blocks the chain gunner, so I, I want him to be able to see through his little window there. Instead, I'm going to move these ones up. Maybe until there? Oh yeah, okay. So now you can see that immediately we've got a more interesting shape of the room. Well, that can just go up and up forever. And a different ceiling. And yeah, that, that's a much better... Uh, I, I think that's a much better looking uh, space. Because you've got the ceiling height to keep it interesting. Let's uh, move this ceiling as well. That is going to be... Does that look any good? No, it looks absolutely terrible. Let's uh, do something else. A little control room like that with the spots, lights. I'm not absolutely in love with it. Just want something better than the, uh, the uh, weird brown tiles there. All right, this is looking good. It's not too busy. It's a bit busy, but it's not too busy. I'll do one of my favorites, curved uh, computer console here. I would admit here that I do too many computer consoles, but even if I did, I would just keep doing them anyway. All right. And we're going to upper and lower unpeg all of these with the U and L keys. Right, there we go. Comp. You'll do. Control A. That needs a little bit more space, but not much. A little bit more. That's good. All right. I I do like how this looks. Starting to get very pleased. Okay. What? Where are the other things I wanted to do? I, I I do need something to happen here. I'm just at a bit of a loss for what it is because it's in direct line of sight to everything. Maybe this can be the home of a a sergeant. That one deserves now. He's because he's going to he's going to interfere with the fight down here too much, and I already said that I didn't want uh, too much pressure on the player coming from up here. I could do with one of them being a sergeant, though. 
Yeah, let's put him in there uh, so he's not immediately at the player and delete that zombie man in return. And uh, let's put some ammunition in. <laughs> you know what it's going to be. I don't even need to say it. Yeah, if you uh, if you want to do things a bit aesthetically better, you can try to align your textures with the natural seams. Uh, sorry, try to align your sectors with the natural seams in the textures. Is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it doesn't work. And that's of a nice metallic floor. Yeah, that'll do, actually. Good. What else did I think need adjusting? Because what, I, what I'd really like to do is say, okay, the map's finished, then go off screen and then fiddle with everything. Uh, but maybe I don't really want to do that. To move this wall a bit away from that room. Why? Because it gives me a place to put another console in. Okay. Yeah, what do I do here? Um, I don't want this to be too populated with enemies. We'd have a little uh, computer stack in here as well. Will that fit on it? No, there's no way that will work. Comp word and comp span will come to my rescue. This was just going to be a big uh, computer wall. Uh, make it 128 wide. Is that enough for... No, that's not enough for uh, comp where I'd make it 196. Yeah, I almost got it right. 192. Sorry, sorry. My, my ability to work out the powers of two in my head is not as good as normal. And this can be a bit of a darker room, because it's off in the corner. Now that can be a flickery light. Can't remember the difference between light blink and light flicker. Player's never going to see the top of this, never mind. Let's make that darker as well, though. And maybe if you choose to go in here, you'll run into a spectre. But you'll also run into something else. Let me see. What power apps can we? Do? Uh, maybe the computer map. That's usually a secret. Maybe we'll just stick it in there as a reward.
And one of the things you can do for a player is just make them believe that they've got stuff out of a place. So maybe that maybe they won't notice they can sneak around there. If I uh, make how, how long is this one two? My map's on sixteen, so let's make it like that. It's totally obvious there's a secret there. <laughs> Maybe we could do something with mid textures here as well. I say it as well, like I remembered to do the last mid texture thing that I mentioned I was going to. It can sometimes be interesting to do a mid texture that hangs down from the ceiling. If it's got a natural looking border. Oh no, that's far too big. Hmm. I think to, to look convincing, that would need to be uh, 64 wide. Are there any other mid textures that uh, are 32? Oh, I mean 64. Oh, okay, so that, that's 128, sorry. 72 might work. Uh, oh, we're quite tall. What's the apparent size of this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is uh, only uh, 40 units. I really need 54, I think. Uh, 56, that's it. All right, so uh, maybe I'm going to abandon the mid-texture idea here. All right. Point is, the player goes around there. It's a bit dark. You get a computer map from it. Not sure if I should count it as a secret. I want this to be a bit darker as well. GZ Doom does tend to make things a bit brighter than they usually are in the vanilla Doom. until you put it to dark mode, which is the default, and then everything's just pitch black. Let's see. I, I do like, I like how this is going. I think that uh, we are pretty much uh, definitely at the end of constructing this map, and uh, we'll go into the polishing phase quite soon. Uh, let's do some mid textures here. Uh, not the mid textures, the... Um, BRM. And uh, the thing I meant to go back and do was instead of using BRN small c all the way, you can use the L and R to cap it off and make it look a bit better. I will do that uh, if I decide I can be bothered. Okay. Don't want the player to be staring at a completely blank wall when they come through here, so maybe there's some sort of computery stuff against the wall. Can't indent this because I've already got an indent up here. Uh, not sure what I was thinking here, because um, I can't. Uh, that doesn't look very good. Uh, maybe just a pipes texture. No, that looks stupid. I'll just do another one of you and uh, thin you up a bit. Okay.
All right. Was there anything else that I wanted to do? Maybe make this room a bit more interesting. If in doubt, I'll make this a comp word when it's gender. All right then. You can sort of see how I uh, did my detail inflation again, where this is quite simple in episode one-ish. And then we get gradually more complicated as we go. <laughs> All right then. Uh, let's give this a run. So I am sorting out where my sound is going. I've got so many things hooked up to this, and I've got the guitar controller hooked into the speakers and the headphones and the speakers going into a different controller. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and the, the demon can't even get out. So this... This might be an example of uh, something not to do. We'll adjust it. might need to oh, take away some of the health I've put in here. But I always find it really hard uh, to estimate how a player is going to behave without knowing all the traps in advance. Didn't finish him off, did I? That's good. There's just a little bit more protection from the chain gunners now. Whoops. Yep, that, that chain gun is a real pain, as designed. So chain gun behind there as well. Oh yeah, there he is. Of course, we can't go in there without a yellow key. We can pick off some imps there, but yeah, look, look at how much better this looks now. Now oh, the shotgun I threw his uh, gun up there. I want to redesign this as well, because the, the switch faces away from the player, and they can only see it when they're around here. I think I want the player to see the switch when they come in. Difficult is getting a bit better now. I think the, the I think the start well maybe you want the start to be a bit easy. Might delete a medicate or two. Replace them with stim packs.
Oh. This is all right. This is um, not giving the player much uh, in the way of hiding space. This can be annoying here when you sort of jump up on the little ledges. We can sort that with uh, just putting some player blocking lines around the outsides. This room's looking a bit better. Let me help. Oh, and there's that pair. Let's see if these work. Yeah, that's a that's a nice little hiding place. And I don't want to reward the player materially too much there, uh, because the, the reward is really finding the shortcut and getting a safe space around that room. Safe passage around that room, rather. Or something like that. Okay. Alright. Do you think this uh, travel work this time? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. So now we've got all kinds of trouble. Might be more strategic to fall down. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, and this was the this was the wrong height as well. I forgot about that. That opens that up. Good. Plenty of you around, aren't there? Let me just uh, check if I've remembered to make that interactable. Yep, that looks fine. Oops. A uh, bit of wall out there that I uh, didn't want the players to see. I'll have to fix that. Is that everyone? No, I missed seven monsters. Well, oh, why didn't they come out? And how do you get in? All kinds of mysteries. Did I, I, did, I didn't go in that direction. Amazing. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, that was that door finally opening because a demon found his way in. Alright. And there we go. Alright. Not quite so dead simple, but uh, I think... That is a fairly decent map. I'm wondering if... Let me just uh, check my sound. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking they should be... They should be woken up. I'm going to make him face that way. But... How did a Hell Knight get in there? <laughs> did he come all the way around here and was searching for me there and then the door closed?
That's uh, about the only explanation I can think of. But uh, I was really impressed with his strategy. All right, let's make uh, those very small uh, adjustments while well, I remember. That goes up one. I've forgotten the other one. Uh, I was thinking of deleting this pillar here because it looks a bit awkward, but I do. I want to keep it because it provides a bit of cover. Yeah, we'll keep it there. Oh yeah, so the other things... Um, This secret needs maybe some tweaking. And we'll make this a stim pack. Make this a metal texture. Like that. Actually, does it fit perfectly? It does. Fantastic. I think when I do a texture pack, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to see if I can make it uh, have some textures that naturally go into different heights, because a lot of the default Doom ones are 64 and 128. Oh, okay, you can just see right through... Uh, you can see right through the sky down to here. So let's do that, okay. All right. Uh, now that we have uh, completed the main portion of the map, we can delete our guide rails. And let's have a look at the map analysis mode uh, to see uh, to see what we're missing. All right, quite a lot, actually. Uh, you're never going to see that. Why do you think that's missing a texture? <laughs> Oh, yeah. And yeah, you'd never notice that either. Oh, yeah, the other thing was this switch. Let's just rotate that around and extend this platform out. Do it with vertices instead. Yeah, so the player is always aware that they need to get to this switch. Adjust my computers. Now, herd them in again. Mm, that'll work. If anyone notices something terrible, we'll see. And I don't, I don't really like this texture. Let's make this... That. Uh, it doesn't look great. It looks better than it did before, but not great. <laughs> I, did, I also didn't notice that there was no uh, height difference here. kind of uh, solves the problem for me. Yeah, that'll do. That looks okay. This is not cramped enough. Because you can see down the whole way and you can uh, you can just pick off the enemies really easily. Let's make this a bit more tortured. Not you.
that's a bit more intimidating. Especially when you hit that big hole in mirrors there. Let's uh, hit B to bring up the brightness and uh, make sure I haven't missed anything. I think we are okay. Uh, reduce my generosity a bit there. All right, I think we're nearly at an hour. Uh, so let's leave it here. Next time we'll do the difficulty levels. And uh, maybe I'll give a preview to some other people as well. So that they can play through it and uh, tell me what works, what doesn't work. All right, bonus round before we go. Um, I'm uh, continuing to look into Doom difficulty analysis. Uh, because apparently when I can't do something, I try to get a computer to do it for me. I've got this rather nice little spreadsheet here where you can now select a map and it'll give you this radar and uh, this data around here. Um, so you can see on E1M1, uh, the monster count is very low, especially on uh, easy and medium. As you get harder, it gets a bit more. The size of the map, which is just the uh, top left X coordinate and the lower right Y coordinate, um, is, well, it's that. Health ratio, a bit bigger. Sur surplus ammo is really loads and loads because uh, the... Uh, because because the monster count is just so low normally. And uh, you can see how it evolves as it goes. Uh, E1M3 is interesting in having a quite a disproportionately large uh, portion of monsters. E1M4 has loads of health in it. E1M5 has tons of monsters. But it's also quite big. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of health and it doesn't have a lot of surplus ammo. Oh, I wonder how this uh, shows negative values, because uh, often there will be a uh, negative ammo surplus. What's this? E4M1, of course. Famously uh, starved map. Yeah, what happens? Oh, it, it, the, the center becomes minus 100. Okay. So yeah, you've got, you've got a load of monsters. You've got... The health ratio is very high on hard. Is that right? Um... Anyway, yeah, and so to put this through there, let me just adjust my configurations here. Uh, single equal do work the mega wad map 07.wad, and we want to look at map 07. Let's see if I can get this right first time. Yep. So this one has 8.57 as the size. Uh, the, the size, of course, is not uh, just straight multiplying this. I, I, I apply a, a sort of a curve to it. Size is 857, which is, you know, it's it's slightly... It's, it's on the small side, because it's, it's a limited space challenge, but my, ten, my maps tend to be wrapped around each other and cramped anyway, so it was quite roomy for me. Health difficulty is 25.21. Let me just check. Easy health ratio... All right, so yeah, as as you get, as you go up in health ratio, that means it's harder. There's uh, there's less health compared to monsters. So health difficulty is twenty five point two one, which is harder than any map in the original Doom. Oh, sorry, that's on health. That's on easy. Uh, hard health ratio. Yeah. So in the in the hard difficulty level, we want to start the player of health a bit more. Is what I'm seeing from these figures. Ammo surplus is 7,360. And usually, uh, where's my hard ammo? That's hard ammo surplus. Yeah, that that's that wild that that uh, fluctuates much more wildly. You can have a massive surplus on E4M6, uh, absolutely nothing at all on E3M8 because well, it's the spider demon. And even the E2M9, there's not enough ammunition at the level to take down most of the monsters. Unless I've miscalculated, which is uh, very possible. All right. Uh, so we'll leave this uh, with his map looking like this. Almost looking the same as it did at the start of the session, really. But uh, we've, we've made some improvements and it really will just be the polishing phase next time. See you then.